Hey, what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I am giving you your energy update for today. And let me tell you, honey, it's looking crazy, okay? But breathe, all right? We ain't going to start this day off in no low vibrations or anything. Keep your joy. Make sure you are meditating. Staying connected here to your higher self or to God, however it resonates for you. And... um. Just just get still for a moment because here I got the rest and rejuvenation card that's coming out next to the door to romance in the reverse in the contract. Okay, in the reverse. So y'all already know, right? There could be some type of separation between you and someone or some type of delays, okay? And when it comes to the concerns of love and relationships. I'm going to pull my tarot because, you know, we got to get to the nitty gritty. See what's going on here with y'all because I don't need you going to work, starting your day or going through your day all anxious about this situation. Okay, so let me see what the rest of the review. Well, we already know what that is about. Tell me about the daughter of romance spirit in the reverse position. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides for guiding me, for helping me to help my collective to overcome their obstacles and challenges. Thank you for using me as a light. And I also ask that you close the doors to anything not in alignment with the divine as well. Queen of Swords upright, okay? So you could be this Queen of Swords or somebody connected to you can be this Queen of Swords. Don't forget, flip the roles, take what you need, leave, leave what you don't. Use the spirit of discernment on top of that, okay? These are collective messages. If it don't fit, don't force it. Now, you may be having to set some type of healthy boundary for yourself. When it comes to this, yep, the lovers in the reverse. Because there's some type of disharmony here that's taking place between you and this person. Okay. Um, some bad choices were made is also what I'm pulling in. But overall, it's like when it comes to your connection with this person, decisions aren't being made that are fair. Okay. And just that are according for this particular connection you have. And with the seven of wands coming out, of course, it's a lot of adversity. So it may feel like you are always having to fight for this connection. But on top of that, I do feel like somebody is definitely um, creating some type of conflict or whoever this energy is. And I'm getting ready to pull more tarot on the seven of wands because it's, it feels like somebody is fighting against a connection. Somebody is fighting against you connecting with a particular person. But let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here. That Seven of Wands energy is usually like somebody covers what you have. Um, mm -hmm, yep. Eight of Cups upright. Somebody is fighting against someone leaving or walking away here with the Eight of Cups. Show me what I need to see. You could be, somebody could be fighting you from leaving. Or I'm, I'm picking up heavy on something, some other energy, but I'm going to let the cards speak. Who's fighting? Who is doing this? Six of Wands comes out in an upright position. Because somebody wants to win. Somebody wants to be recognized here. And they want the victory out of this. So they're fighting. It's someone from the past. Six of Cups in the reverse position. Okay. It could be someone from your past, um, from childhood, and maybe even somebody you were loyal to one time before. However it is, this person is literally clinging on to you or somebody you're connected to. And it's bringing an imbalance to this connection you have. So now you're in this position where you may feel like you have to set a healthy boundary for yourself here as the queen of swords here. You gotta set your emotions to the side for a moment and and try to view things objectively is what came to me but it's like you got to set your emotions to the side for a moment because everything that's happening here is delaying your situation yeah four swords in the upright position is bringing an imbalance to what you have with this person with the temperance card in the reverse so yeah you withdrawing your energy or you may be taking a break for a second just to you see how she's going to sleep just to recuperate you know just to relax right it's like this is a time right now for you to actually just retreat for a second, as you can see with the rest of the rejuvenation card. Take a step back for a second so that you can be able to hear these intuitive downloads that are coming to you today, okay? Because it does seem like it's a lot of adversity um, with you and this person and whoever else that I'm pulling through that is trying to stop this connection 
from manifesting, okay? Tell me about this contract card in the reverse. Yep, six of cups in the reverse. So it's somebody from your past, okay? Let me show y'all six of cups reverse position. Somebody is stuck. They're literally unable to move forward here. Um, page of cups in the reverse. So what I'm seeing here is like either it's some type of vulnerability or it's something here that is being kept a secret. Something is that this person could be thinking or that you could be thinking. Tell me about this page of cups in the reverse position here. It's like somebody is doing something to delay an ending is what I'm hearing. Tell me about the page of cups in the reverse. And whatever this is, it could be a, a marriage agreement. It could be a relationship. It could be um, a partnership, a friendship. What is this? Tell me about this page of cups in reverse position. So some truth is somebody is keeping the truth to themselves, okay? <clears throat> Instead of confessing something here, they're keeping this idea to themselves, all right? What is this? Yep, four swords up, right? Mm. You know how you withdraw your energy from someone? And this is what I'm feeling. Somebody is withdrawing their energy, but not really, it's like a delay in it. And delay in telling the truth or confessing something here. It's like what I'm seeing, <laughs> this is crazy, right? High priest is upright and the queen of wands in the reverse. All right. So again, it feels like somebody is withdrawing that energy, just taking a little break right now from a situation. All right. And in this process, it's like they're catching massive downloads, but they're trying to, um, they're trying to literally figure out something it's like it's, it's almost this feeling like this person already knows or you already know you're just not saying anything you're keeping it a secret from somebody already know, thank you my spirit team somebody already knows what they want to do they already know what they want to do they have the answer they know they want to end the contract they want to close the door here to a situation but they're not saying anything to the person that they want to do it with they're not saying it anything. Whoever this Queen of Wands is in the reverse position, this person could be very revengeful. They could be very demanding, very jealous. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in the reverse. But I get a sense here that this Queen of Wands is already kind of intuitive on top of that. So they may even be picking it up. Yep. Eight of Cups in the reverse. This Queen of Wands is holding on. It's like this person does not want to walk away. They're not, it's like they're staying in this situation here, even though it's not a good situation and it's not seeming to move forward. They're staying here because it could be abandonment issues or it could be just fear. Okay. Um, why isn't this person telling this queen of wands that they want to end it? Because it's a challenge. That they feel like they can't overcome the chariot card. Okay, it's challenging. Tell me more about the chariot. So they have to make a decision. So they have to make a choice. So they have a lot of choices here that they may have to choose from, a lot of options, or you may have a lot of options, however it is, but a choice has to be made. And apparently it seems to be that this situation overall is chaotic. Okay. Um it's a little messy, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And in order to start something new or go after a new opportunity here with this Ace of Pentacles or to manifest something different, of course, they're going to have to end this. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. But for some odd reason, they're not walking away go to go towards their happiness. Instead of going towards this new opportunity here that they have which is a major one, a big one. And this seems like it could be a blessing from the universe to release this person from a karmic situation because my reverse court cards usually are karmic energies to release themselves from this situation and go after their happiness because this is in the reverse. Whoever this is is totally dissatisfied. Okay, with the situation, it's not their wish fulfillment. It's like, but in a worry, it's so much worry. Nine of swords in the upright. They're probably losing sleep, um, negative thoughts, nightmares, things like that. I'm hearing depression could even be setting in. 
But instead of going after what makes them happy, they feel like this is too much of a challenge and they're kind of in this stuck energy right now trying to decide what should I do? What should I do? Okay. Um, mm. Why are they so af afraid to do this with this Queen of Wands? Why are they so afraid to do this? They could have children by this person or you could have children by this person. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just seeing the Empress come out. I've seen it again flash across my eye. Somebody's afraid of some type of painful um, endings, ending judge. Afraid of the judgment. Don't care about what people think and, or feel. Queen of Swords upright. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Somebody is also feeling like they won't be able to move on from this situation here. It's like if they try to set some type of healthy boundary for themselves or, or, or put their emotions to the side, they won't be able to move on from this situation here without being hindered from that one. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how can I move on and leave this person in this connection? How can I release this without it being some type of painful ending? But overall, here with the devil card in the reverse position next to the everything is fine card. Um, tell me about this everything is fine card. It's like somebody is, is faking it. Like, I'll just deal with it. I'll just go through the pain. I'll just go ahead and keep operating in these codependencies or these particular addictions because codependencies are addictions. And I'll endure this pain instead of choosing my happiness, instead of doing what's best for me, right? Yep, judgment in the reverse. Wow. This person or you could be in a lot of self-doubt. This is this is literally a lack of self-awareness and failing to learn certain lessons here. Okay, because I'm definitely feeling like, you know, there's some type of um this is some type of karma cycle. And you're being asked to get still to really do some self-evaluation because with this situation. It's not healthy. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. These are unhealthy attachments. When it's hard for you to break an attachment with someone when you know that the door is now is shut. It's like it's literally closing. Like it's really no turning back. There's some type of codependencies that are taking place. Okay. So and what you should really be doing is with the eight of cups up, right? Is walking away from the cups that no longer serve you. So if you're dissatisfied with the situation, then leave. Because there's more is what I'm hearing. There's greater. And it's like once this door shuts, then you'll be able to actually embrace what it is that you truly want. With this nine of cups in the reverse position, no, like this is a lack of fulfillment. And here with this nine of cups up, right, is really what you or this person wants. Okay, so some some type of satisfaction, some type of appreciation in their in their life when it comes to love, right? But for some odd reason. I ain't gonna say some more reason, but we already know codependencies is a serious drug, y'all. It is. It's like one of the worst drugs. It's like something that is really hard to overcome. And um, it takes a lot of willpower and a lot of strength to be able to leave situations, um, especially if you're codependent on the situations or the people involved. Okay, so yeah, it can take time. It can take years, but it's all about learning um, the lessons and growing and maturing and literally leaving behind what no longer serves you. It's like you have to have this ability to be able to let go, knowing that the universe is going to catch you if you take this leap of faith to, to remove yourself from a situation that may be going against your integrity. OK, here I have the mature man in the reverse. So, yeah, someone's definitely not maturing from this. So something unexpected could come. Okay, so in the main male in the reverse position, that's weird. <laughs> and the main female comes out. So we got my tour man, so you can see it. Unexpected 1440 on my timer. Main male reverse, main female upright. Now, tell me about this mature man. Like this 
Ace of um, yeah, Page of Pentacles, High Priestess, Reverse Position, right? So here go one, and here go this Page of Pentacles. This is a lot. So this mature man is definitely repressing their intuition, okay? So this could be someone that is older, um, most definitely older gentleman or just me at very mature for their age, but I still feel like this is someone that's an older gentleman. Um, definitely over the age of uh, 35, late 30s, 40s, yeah, okay? And shoot, no, hmm, it can go even older. But however, what I'm seeing is like they're repressing their intuition and it's a lot of hidden stuff. Like things are hidden, hidden motives, hidden, you know, hiding their true selves and everything. Okay. And when it comes to manifesting a particular goal here, it just feels like it's, a, it's an idea. When it comes to manifesting love or manifesting a certain connection, it's like fear is taking place. You know how it's like your ego kicks in and it's just like... <gasps> I don't know if I'm going to succeed. I don't know if I'm going to be capable of doing this. I don't know if I can be committed to this, right? And that's what's happening here. Instead of being ambitious and going after um, their goals and listening to their inner voice here on what to do, they're doing the opposite, right? They're not following their heart. Ace of Wands in the reverse. And this is a yes from the universe. This is literally like a sign saying, hey, take that chance. Okay, cut off that situation. Say what you need to say with the page of swords coming out. But instead of following their heart, what's going to end up happening is they're going to encounter some type of trial and tribulation in the future. When it, In regards to this or in regards to the connection, if you are the person that's stuck in the middle of all of this, right? That is receiving or experiencing delays. But it's like there's going to be some type of trials and tribulations, um, which could lead to endings across the board. Okay, if this person doesn't execute these ideas that they have um, or communicate what needs to be communicated here to end this contract, to end this connection is what I'm saying. Like it's some type of um, karmic connection, karmic cycle that someone is going through with a third party person. Okay, and of course, like I said, there's a main female involved. Tell me about this unexpected. It could have something here that could, you know, mess with your money too on top of that. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like karma, basically. And yeah, we are in um, Saturn is in um, retrograde right now. And it affects the areas of your life when it involves, your, you know, karma. So whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get back. And that's what's happening. It feels like... Um, Whatever you could be expecting when it comes to your money, you may not see any results, okay? Whatever your efforts are that you're putting in, you may not see any results, period. So whatever it is that you're investing in, whether it's time, resources, a, you know, a person, whatever it is, it's, no, it's not going to be any results from that is what I keep hearing. It's no results. Like, no, the fruits of your labor, you won't be rewarded because why is this? Because when it comes to that Queen of Swords up right again to this person, here, let me show y'all. I see it, show y'all this one. The Seven of Wands came out earlier. But when it comes to protecting this Queen of Wands, this person is not doing it. Whoever this main male is, they're not protecting the Queen of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Swords, okay? And it's causing this Queen of Swords to have to go into protective mode, right? This Queen of Swords is like literally being challenged and what i'm hearing is that this person tell me more about this queen of swords this queen of swords has been someone who is very supportive and um mm -hmm, they're restricted so eight of swords comes out in an upright position so right now this queen of swords is literally feeling stuck in a situation or stuck or restricted. They could even be feeling very anxious right now. And, and they, they're, put, they're being pushed to set certain boundaries for themselves, um, especially within this connection here. And they're trying to stay hopeful, but the problem is, 
it's something important about this Queen of Swords here, and this is why it's going to be this karma. So tell me why. And then when the Queen of Swords is in an upright position, they are operating in the right energy. So what I'm hearing here is because this person is in alignment, operating in their integrity here, Nine of Wands comes out in an upright position, operating in their integrity, they are um, literally being protected by the universe. So anything that opposes this person, there will be judgment. This has to be a divine feminine. Okay, but nine, nine of swords comes out in an upright position. <clears throat> it's causing a lot of anxiety and worry is what I'm seeing. And it's too much. It's too much. It's too dark, right? And this person has to be, like I said, divine feminine energy. Um, and instead of making certain sacrifices to protect this person and to really work on this situation and making the sacrifices that are needed to bring these two together, you know, this person, this man is being stubborn or they're being um, very defensive and everything. Okay, so this is, it's, it feels a whole lot like karma, y'all. Like, it just feels like, okay, you're fumbling an empress for a karmic. And again, like that Ace of Pentacles came out earlier. I just envisioned it in my mind, y'all. The Ace of Pentacles come out earlier and I'm thinking... You know, it's like the universe is handing this major blessing or an opportunity here to this main person, right? And they're not accepting it. And, uh, wow. Tell me about the main male. Sometimes it's kind of weird to say it. That's why I just stopped. Like, wow. Like, you know how sometimes it's like, okay. Like the universe get ready to hand out some goddamn, but you it is weird to say it. Like, oh my god, like this is really gonna happen this way. Tell me about the main male in the reverse. That's the part that kind of got me. Look at that Queen of Swords coming out. Hang one, main male in the reverse position, huh? Because <laughs> this Queen of Swords reverse has been sacrificing and left hanging. Left in this waiting position. Wow. So I need to see. King of Swords comes out in an upright position, and instead of, you know, it's causing this, it's causing this um, Queen of Swords to have to operate in their masculine energy. But it's, instead of them, yeah, this is a divine counterpart. Wow. This is a divine counterpart. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords together. So whoever's playing the main male in this story and the Queen of Swords, yeah, this is most likely your person. And they left you waiting or they are leaving you waiting. They're leaving you hanging because they are having trouble closing out another a karmic situation. And a lot of stuff is going to be made clear. The moon card comes in the reverse. Tell me about the moon card in the reverse. It's a lot of fear and anxiety. And because they're not putting any effort or working here on, you know, cultivating something here. Tell me about that. <clears throat> yep, eight of pentacles. Four cups of right. They're ignoring the gift of the universe. Not accepting, the, not accepting it because they're contemplating. They're in this energy of just contemplating here and contemplating here and contemplating. <laughs> it's like... You know how you overthink something? It's like this person is just overthinking it and overthinking it and then overthinking the thought that they thought. Like, it's crazy. Five of Wands here in a reverse position and King of Wands reverse. They're not cooperating. And that's what I'm saying. They're not cooperating. They're still operating in a King of Wands reverse energy, in and out, reckless, um, non-committal. Yeah. About the star in the reverse position and the upright. Wow, so it may have should have came up. So I got the star came out reverse and the star upright position. And the reverse is like hopelessness, and the upright is like the unit. That's what it is. The universe is literally trying to bless this person, and this person is all in this in this energy of 
you know, f love is bullshit and hopeless about love. And the universe is literally trying to bless this person, telling them, hey, be optimistic about your love life. We're sending you a gift from heaven, which is the queen of swords. And now you are denying the gift. So, and because of everything that has taken place, and it's not even just about denying the gift, it's because of the fact that the decisions that are made and the decisions that won't be made is where the karma comes in at. So four pinnacles comes in a reverse. They're going to lose their blessing. And instead of overcoming the past and opening up, they're going to be left in despair. Um, this is crazy. That's why I was like, <laughs> then I got the five of wands that just tripped all over my fingers. Five of wands. Conflict. Let me tell you about Saturn. Okay. Come through. Tell me about this uh, main female here. So you could be this main female. Or if you this man watching, this is <laughs> your person. Tell me about the main female. <sighs> Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position next to the Magician in the reverse. There's a lot of manipulation going on here. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. There's no effort being put into this person. And this is your person. Basically is what I just heard. Mm -hmm. The Devil card comes in the reverse. And the Ten of Cups upright. Instead of releasing the codependencies and going after your happiness. Tell me about the... Tell me more. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. It's like somebody's a puppet, a puppet to the devil, right? Or a puppet or a slave to, to their addictions. And instead of staying, you know, in a state of, um, it's like the stars are literally aligning for you with this person. And instead of protecting the empress, I don't know why I heard that. And cutting off those situations. Yep. Cutting off those situations or habits or patterns to get to your happiness or for this person to get to their happiness, they won't be able to manifest. Tell me about the magician in the reverse position. What they won't be able to manifest. Their success. Wow. Eight of cups reverse. Six of wands in the reverse. They'll be stuck. And until they do, they won't be able to be recognized. They won't be able to be supported by the universe. Yikes. Come on, move on. Ooh. Yeah. I know, right? That is not a message that you want to hear on this good old Monday morning, right? But however, if even if it sounds triggering, right? Remember the power of love. Basically, stay connected to the highest power of all, which is love. And make some good conscious decisions for yourself. Period. Especially during this period. Because karma comes back. And if you're doing an injustice um, to someone, make sure you stay in an attitude of gratitude too. But if you're doing an injustice, right, to someone, karmically, the scales aren't going to balance for you. So... How do you expect these scales to balance if you are making decisions for for yourself or for the collective period of whoever plays these roles in the, in your story um, that are not serving the highest good of the connection? And what I'm hearing is like, you know how you want to keep people in your life, but you don't want to make the necessary changes to keep people in your life. And it seems like this is what someone is doing. It's like they, they may feel like they have time. But what I'm hearing is that the universe is saying, no, you don't have time. You don't have all this time that you think you have to be playing with people. Okay. Um, it can't stand. Why? Because this is a divine counterpart. 
And when you're connected to a divine counterpart, you have, they cannot be treated less than divine. The universe is not going to allow it. And because of the fact of the matter that this person is now more self-aware, they are not even going to allow themselves to stay in that particular energy. Okay. Um, but it says, when you live in gratitude, you acknowledge to the universe your appreciation for every event that occurs in your life. And whew, and that's what it is. It's like fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you and stay in this attitude of gratitude because this is what's happening. The universe is blessing you or this person. And for some odd reason, this person is still not satisfied. Whoever this this masculine energy is, they're still not satisfied. They're still not satisfied with what is being given to them. Okay, still looking for more, still wanting more. It's like a energy of um, greed is what I just heard. Or it's literally the addictions. It says, be thankful for each experience, whether you label it good or bad, because without it, you will not evolve. So everything that's going to happen is happening to grow you right? To help you to evolve. It's not literally, you know how like if the universe withholds the blessings, it's because there's a lesson that still needs to be learned. If you're still stuck in a cycle, it's because you still haven't learned the lesson. So regardless, it's like, this is about your evolution. Granted, heartbreaking things happen in the physical dimension all the time. But if you look upon them as lessons to learn, as opposed to misfortunes inflicted on you, your glimpse, um, you glimpse the bigger picture. Everything can be a gift. As you consciously experience gratitude, you are mindful that even the simplest aspects of your life are wondrous and miraculous. With this outlook, your focus is placed on abundant consciousness, not on lack. As you acknowledge source energy, you expand your awareness and come to realize that you are a part of something much larger than yourself and that every moment is precious. This connection is much larger than you. And someone is not seeing the bigger picture. This is why you're being told today, whoever this is, get still, rest and reju reju rejuvenate, meditate about this situation because there's some type of relationship that has to end. If not one, it will be all. Peace.